Getting accustomed to life in America was a challenge for John Osbalkin. John, who last year moved from Istanbul, Turkey to attend Wayland Academy in Beaver Dam, definitely went through an adjustment period. It was like the first time I'm going away from my family, so I was a little homesick at the beginning. But I was playing soccer in the school and the people here always helped me to get through. But now I'm feeling like I'm at home. He really, uh, you know, was down and I think a little homesick at the beginning, and he, but he got into sports and he uh, really worked very hard to improve when he started to see uh, the connection between his work in the classroom and his participation in sports. John, his name is spelled with a C, which is pronounced like a J in Turkish, came to the U.S. to get the best education possible. Coaches at Wayland were happy to see his athletic skills, too. In one of our first games, he scored three goals right off the bat, and then the following game was seven goals. And we kind of put the pieces together to figure out, okay, well, this kid's got a, a knack, got a talent for the game. Osbalkin made his presence felt immediately, earning Midwest Classic Conference Player of the Year honors in his first season at Wayland. After a somewhat rocky start this season, John and his teammates stepped it up as the season progressed. Osbalkin scored five of his team's seven goals, all in the second half, in a come-from-behind win this past week at Living Word Lutheran. It's not like me scoring five goals or some other guy assisting three times. It's just like all of the team, all the team stepped up their game. So we had a chance to score seven goals in 40 minutes, which is incredible. Following that win, Osbalkin was the state's leading goal scorer, while close friend Sinue Espinoza led Wisconsin in assists. I knew he had an amazing talent, and I'm a central midfielder, so I knew that if I assisted him well, I knew he could finish. John is well respected, not just for what he's done for sports, but for the school overall here at Wayland. And one of the things people seem to like about him the most is the fact that he's a star athlete who doesn't act like one. Humble and family oriented, John talks to his older brother on the phone before every match. On his shoes, he has written the dates his grandparents passed away. It's one of many ways John thinks of others before himself. He'll never tell you how good he is. He'll just let you know how good you are. Also a first team all-conference choice in basketball as a junior, John has expanded his school involvement far beyond sports. He's the senior class president and the editor of the Wayland News Today video program. He really is what we want as a Wayland student, I think, because he's involved uh, in multiple different areas. John's goal in coming to the U.S. was to attend college here as well, and education is job one for him. Playing a sport in college would be great too, and it may be just a matter of getting the right coach to take notice. It was hard at the first time. It's like they were talking who's that coming from another country, like came here at junior year. Nobody like noticed at all. But now it's kind of just improving, trying to improve myself to for next level coaches. Coming out of Wayland, he's going to be prepared for life after high school. It's a matter of finding out what's the best fit for him uh, after his life at Wayland. Istanbul, Turkey is eight hours ahead of central time, so John says when he calls his family, he usually calls late at night, which is early morning over there. Now here's Connie Balwig from Boston Store presenting John his award. On behalf of Boston Store, I am proud to present you with the Preps Plus Student Athlete of the Week Award. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah! Woo! Good job. Yeah!